Is there a ninth planet at the outermost edge of the solar system? New strong evidence seems to finally confirm theories about the existence of another large planet beyond Neptune's orbit. Not only would this planet be a scientific sensation, Planet Nine could also be linked to myths and prophecies of our ancestors who knew of its periodic appearance. Planet Nine probably orbits the Sun in such an unusual orbit that it only enters the inner reaches of the solar system and thus the range of our telescopes every few thousand years. If we are to believe the Sumerian legends, then something monstrous could happen. A planet that only passes through the inner regions of the solar system every few thousand years would have escaped our attention until now. Many of you may also know Planet Nine as the mysterious Planet X. In the past, legends of Sumerian culture were mixed with modern research into other previously unknown planets. The Sumerians spoke of a celestial body that appears every 3,600 years and then causes chaos. Some modern scientists are convinced that there is a planet behind Neptune and even behind the Kuiper Belt that takes 10,000 to 20,000 years to orbit the Sun. Theoretically, such a planet could really move into an orbit that brings it closer to the Sun every 3,600 years. How likely is it that other previously unknown planets are hiding in our solar system? At a conference in 2006, a large gathering of international astronomers decided that Pluto should no longer be included among the major planets. It had long been the ninth planet in the solar system, and since then, we have only had eight major planets. Before Pluto's demotion, there was already talk of another planet. At that time, it was called Planet 10. After Pluto's demotion to a dwarf planet and trans-Neptunian object, Planet 10 became Planet 9. Researchers searched for this last large planet in our solar system, as there was increasing evidence that this was not just a legend, but scientific fact. It's quite possible that this planet, long thought to be a myth, really exists. Trans-Neptunian objects go crazy. What an excitement! For a long time, Planet 9 or Planet X was just a concept. The debate about the existence of another member of our solar system has been going on for several decades. Time and again, astronomers have been convinced of the existence of other planets in our solar system. A famous example from the 19th century is the planet Vulcan, which was once thought to be within the orbit of Mercury. This search was triggered by anomalies in Mercury's orbit. In fact, a number of planets were discovered in this way. They stood out due to deviations in the normal orbits of other planets, which occur when the gravitational pull of the as-yet undiscovered planet influences the orbit of the known planet. Pluto, for example, was discovered after a long search. The modern search for Planet 9 began in earnest with the discovery of Sedna in 2003. A trans-Neptunian object with such an unusual and highly eccentric orbit far outside Neptune's sphere that speculation arose. Sedna's orbital parameters are so extreme that they cannot be fully explained by the gravitational influences of the known planets. This brought old ideas back to the table, according to which there is an as yet undiscovered massive body far beyond Neptune. The hypothesis of Planet 9 was further strengthened by the observation of other trans-Neptunian objects with unusual orbital characteristics. High orbital inclinations and strange grouping of orbital parameters all pointed to a common cause. Another planet is actually the best and most coherent explanation for the clustering of orbital anomalies in the Kuiper Belt to date. Scientists who are convinced of the existence of Planet 9 have shown that not only the orbital properties of objects such as Sedna, but also other anomalies in the outer solar system can be explained by the presence of another large mass. Now, you're probably wondering what the assumed mass of Planet 9 would be. Scientists have calculated the mass to match the gravitational anomalies observed in the Kuiper Belt. The result was that the planet is somewhere between the size of Earth and Neptune. Despite intensive searches with some of the world's most advanced telescopes, Planet 9 remained invisible. Some scientists, therefore, set about finding alternative explanations for the strange processes behind Neptune. 
Some good explanations emerged that explain the orbital anomalies of dwarf planets and other bodies without the influence of a previously unknown planetary mass. The orbital peculiarities observed can also be explained by statistical distortions or by the gravitational effects of other smaller objects in the Kuiper Belt. There may also be an influence from the Oort Cloud, which is located far outside the outer edges of the solar system proper. Dr. Mike Brown, it really exists. Would you believe me if I told you that the existence of Planet Nine has now been proven by scientists? The researcher who succeeded in proving it is Dr. Mike Brown from the California Institute of Technology. Dr. Brown became famous through the discovery of the minor planet Eris in the Kuiper Belt. The emergence of this planet, which is almost as big as Pluto, fueled a debate about what is a real planet and what is not. This subsequently cost Pluto its planetary status, which is why Brown is jokingly referred to as the Pluto Killer in specialist circles. Mike Brown is considered a specialist in trans-Neptunian objects, and together with his colleague, Constantine Batigan, also researched the possible existence of another, much larger planet. Brown, who probably knows the orbits of the minor planets and their orbital characteristics better than any other scientist, is convinced of the existence of Planet Nine. He and his colleague published their initial research results in 2016 and proved that the highly eccentric and similarly aligned orbits of a number of trans-Neptunian objects clearly indicate the existence of another large planet. In their paper, the two further explained that Planet Nine must have a mass that is around 10 times that of the Earth and orbits at an average distance that is around 20 times further away from the Sun than Neptune. Due to this enormous distance, it's estimated that a complete orbit of Planet Nine would take between 10,000 and 20,000 years. With the planet spending many thousands of years far out in space until it moves back into the solar system on its elliptical orbit and thus within sight of our telescopes. Although the two scientists' research attracted a great deal of attention, real proof of Planet Nine's existence was long lacking. With experts confirming that the planet's extremely large distance and associated weak light reflection make it difficult to detect even with current telescopes. In plain language, this means that our technology may simply not yet be good enough to detect the planet orbiting the Sun in almost complete darkness. Brown and Batigan kept at it anyway. In February 2024, Mike Brown once again published the latest results of his study and further narrowed down the current location of Planet Nine. By using data from the Pan-STARRS system, his team was able to rule out around 78% of the possible locations of Planet Nine previously calculated from other studies. New estimates show that Planet Nine could have a large, semi-major axis of about 500 astronomical units and a mass of about 6.6 .6 Earth masses. When it will come into view, if it really exists, is still an open question. Nibiru brings devastation and chaos every 3,600 years. I bet you've heard of the legendary planet Nibiru, often referred to as Planet X in science fiction literature, and therefore later often equated with the ninth planet of astronomy. Nibiru is a story from ancient Sumerian texts that was reinterpreted by the author Zakaria Sitchin. Sitchin claimed that Sumerian legends contain references to an additional planet in the solar system, which he named Nibiru. According to Sitchin, Nibiru orbits the Sun in a highly elliptical orbit that only brings it close to Earth every 3,600 years. This, of course, sounds very similar to the idea of Planet Nine, which takes 10,000 to 20,000 years to orbit and could be in an orbit closer to Earth for several thousand years within that time span. Sitchin linked the planet to the home of the Anunnaki, an alleged extraterrestrial race that is said to have intervened in the early days of human civilization on Earth. Sitchin's methods and conclusions are largely rejected by the traditional scientific community. However, his theories also have many supporters. With the rise of Nibiru, catastrophes and upheavals are said to take place on Earth, and many followers of the theory fear the renewed rise of the Anunnaki, a tyrannical master race that allegedly helped create humanity and still controls it today. 
Scientific research into Planet 9 is a long way from even considering ideas like this or linking the discovery of a celestial body to events on Earth. What is interesting, however, is the fact that both concepts share the idea of a distant, massive body whose orbit is far beyond the known planets. Of course, the question remains as to how the Sumerians would have known of such a distant planet if, in theory, no planet beyond Saturn could have been visible to telescopes at the time. There are various explanations for this, some of which are quite simple and some of which are paranormal. If there really was an extraterrestrial race that visited Earth and somehow had something to do with us humans, the Sumerians would have known about this planet directly from the Anunnaki. On Sumerian cuneiform tablets and reliefs, several depictions of the heavens that show nine or ten planets stand out. Other theories suggest that there may have been peoples who possessed paranormal abilities. The American medium Ingo Swan proved several times in the 1970s that it's possible for particularly gifted people to direct their spiritual gaze to any place in the universe using the technique of remote viewing. For example, Swan examined the planet Jupiter and provided science with valuable data long before probes confirmed these results. It is possible that these and other abilities were still widespread among our ancestors and that people saw the solar system in a way that we can hardly imagine today. Then, of course, the Sumerians could also have seen another planet. We might find that fascinating now, but if we consider for a moment that the dramatic scenarios that have been associated with the appearance of Nibiru, we may come to the conclusion that we are in no hurry at all to discover Planet 9 or Nibiru. Subscribe to the channel now and be part of every new video.